All these channels are less than one year old. They all make faceless videos, they all use AI, and they're all earning thousands of dollars per month with these faceless channels and faceless videos. Step one is to generate an avatar. By avatar, I mean this, what you can see here on the screen. This is actually an image and a video that's generated by the AI. You can see it's like a person who is talking under the mask, but of course this is not real. This person has actually built their whole channel by using this avatar. You can see uh, they only started on the 15th of October, 2023, this channel based in Nigeria, and they've only published six videos. They've got 5.39 thousand subscribers and they've got 130,000 views on one of their videos. There are many other channels that do this. For example, this channel called AI Guy, they also use an avatar like this. You can see here the avatar is talking. It's not even really synced to the speech, but this is really good enough to create a successful channel. To create this kind of avatar, you can use Canva. Just a free plan is fine. Go create a design. You can use any size. I'm gonna go with YouTube thumbnail here. And then on the left-hand side, click on elements. And then you'll see something that says generate your own over here. So this is an AI feature that can help you generate the initial image and you can enter a prompt, for example, something like this, YouTuber man sitting at his desk, talking to the camera, laptop on the desk, wearing glasses, animated. And this input generated this for me. You can see we've got four images that are pretty good and I'm gonna show you how to animate them as well to make it look like these people are talking. And if you want more of a realistic look, you can use a prompt something like this, YouTuber man standing in the video studio talking to the camera, wearing a black mask, spiky short hair, ultra realistic. So then download this design and sign up for a service called Runway ML. Just use the free plan, that's all we need. And once you're in the dashboard, click this option, start with image, and then go into image plus description. You can upload your image here and type in a description of what you want to happen. So here I've uploaded the image that we just generated out of Canva, and I'm going to give it a prompt to say the YouTuber is moving his mouth while talking, and I'm gonna click generate four seconds. And the output is here. I'm just going to play it. You can see that we've got a pretty cool animated video that can become your avatar in your faceless YouTube videos. What do you guys think of this? If you learned something new from this, drop me a comment below to say, awesome, this way I'll know that I've actually shown you something that's exciting and I can make more of the same. Now let's create the video. So step one is to sign up to this capcut.com online video editor. You can just get the free plan and you can edit the video online. That's what we're going to be using. After you sign in, you'll see a dashboard like this, then go into magic tools and this is where magic is happening. All right, so you'll want to click on create with AI. Now guys, this is the way to create videos that are completely automated and from start to finish, they're going to be created inside CapCut. Let's use this first one that says script to video. And here you've got two options. You can either use CapCut in built AI to generate the script for you. So just type in the slash and then follow the prompts. You'd probably want a narration script if it's an informational video rather than a sales video. You can enter a prompt like this, write me a YouTube video script about how to be productive. I've personally found that through CapCut, I get scripts that are a little bit on the short side. So I use ChatGPT for mine. With ChatGPT, I get a bit more flexibility and I can give it exact instructions like write me a YouTube script, how to be more productive with 1,500 words. So there we go. We've got quite a long script and you can edit it, you can make any changes you want, and then you can basically just copy it and bring it into CapCut. All right, we've inserted our script into CapCut, so let's click Generate Video. You can choose the dimension as well as the voice that you'd like to use, because CapCut can create automated voiceover for you based on this criteria. You can preview each of these voices. I'm going to use this British male voice, so let's click Generate Video. Our video draft is generated, and let's preview it. Hello, everyone, today. We're diving deep into the world of productivity and sharing some practical. It sounds pretty good. The voice is good. The graphics are there already inserted and we can of course fine tune it further. Here at the bottom, you've got a button that says edit video. And this is where you can fine tune the video to your liking. So you've got several layers. At the top, you've got the captions. So these are the actual text that comes up on the screen. The next layer is the images that I used. The next layer down is the audio of the script. So that's the actual voice recording, so to speak. And then you've got the music. I recommend for you to go up to media and upload your avatar video that we've just created because this becomes your character, so to speak, and you can drop them in several times throughout the video to make it look like this is uh, some kind of a person or a personality delivering this video. So let's drop them into the very start of this video just to see how that will look. One important thing, do note that as I'm dragging this over here to the timeline, I'm not going to insert it 
into the same row as all the other images, I'm going to create its own row. So I'm just going to drop it at the top because if I drop something right there in this timeline, then it's going to shift everything else out to the right and it's going to break the timing. Okay, so just drop it over the top. And if it's on top of this layer, it will hide all the layers underneath it. Okay, so here, let's just adjust the size of this a little bit to make sure that it covers the screen. Let's give it a quick preview. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving deep into the world of productivity. Okay, not bad. So this gives us a little bit of personality. It's not just a slideshow, it's actually some kind of a character. And that's actually enough to give your channel some personality. This is exactly how the channels that I showed at the start of this video are making their money. Next, you'll probably want to give it a bit of movement. The scene is a little bit static. To add movement, select this clip, and then we're going to use this basic panel. And under here, let's just add a little bit of zooming. So we can add a keyframe here at 155. And then let's go to the end of it and we'll add another keyframe for scale and we'll make it go to, let's say, 167. Now, what that does is it adds a keyframe at 155 and a keyframe at 167. And that's going to add a little bit of movement. Look what happens now. So I'm just going to. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving deep. And you can see that it adds this little bit of movement to the scene. Next thing we need to fix is these captions. They're very crowded and they're a little bit hard to read. They don't stand out. So just choose one of these captions over here and then click on animations and make sure that at the top you choose something that says captions. The animation that I like the most and is very common on YouTube is this one called pop up display. So Hello. Let's just change it to that and make sure that you've got this ticked apply to all. This means that this animation will be applied to all of your captions. Let's just hit a quick preview here. Hello, everyone today. Okay, and you can see how it becomes more engaging, but there is a little bit more fine tuning we've got to do. So with your captions selected, go to basic and let's change the default font and size. Choose another font, maybe something like Montserrat and a larger size. I would recommend probably to go with at least a 12 or a 13. Let's make it bold. You can also make them all to be uppercase using this option here. Okay, so we can already see that it's becoming a lot better and much easier to follow and much more engaging but there are too many captions on the screen at any given time. So I recommend to break it up to make it maybe three or four words at a time. So for that, just go into the script here on the left and break up the script. Literally, all you've got to do is just put your cursor where you want the break to happen and then hit enter. So I'm going to break it up like this. Hello everyone, today we're diving deep Then another break like this into the world of productivity. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same with a few more. Okay, so I've done it and I've separated it like this. So let's just see how it looks now. It all gets automatically regenerated. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving deep into the world of productivity and sharing some practical tips to help you get more done every day. Now guys, this is starting to look a lot more engaging. So you guys would have seen that CapCut actually has put in some initial images and slides for you. But if you're not happy with any of them, you can change them because CapCut also includes a built-in library of different images. So just go into elements and you can search what is included in here. There are some stock videos on and stock images that you can use. So for example, I might search for factory and then I found this bit of footage here. So it's some kind of a factory and that works in the productivity context. I might just insert that in and then, okay, so then you can see that after this avatar. Diving deep into the world of productivity and sharing some practical tips. Okay, so then we've got that video of a factory which fits with the theme of productivity. So you can build out your whole video like this. Of course, there are thousands of different types of videos that you can do, but hopefully this video has given you at least some ideas on how to create your avatar, create high quality voiceovers and captions for your videos. Do you want to know the best earning niches for faceless YouTube videos? Then go and download it at viralchecklist.com. Or you can watch this video over here that'll run through the earnings of 10 different YouTube niches, including the exact RPM and CPM rates for the ads on those channels.